top seven most expensive houses in the world. Think of your dream property and then think a little harder and you'll begin to get an idea of what the most expensive homes in the world look like. Because what happens when you bring together an architect limited only by gravity and an owner with a bottomless wallet? You get a luxury house filled with bespoke features tailored exactly to your personality and taste. And the sky's the limit. That could mean an outdoor theater overlooking the Mediterranean Sea, an entirely circular building, or whole new levels of exciting tech. So in this video, we will discuss the top seven most expensive houses in the world. But before starting the video, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. The video is going to be amazing, so make sure you stick to the end. Number seven, the Odeon Tower Penthouse, Monaco. The Odeon Tower Penthouse might not feature a garden, but it does offer spectacular views across Monaco. Known as the world's most expensive flat, it sits at the top of a 560-foot skyscraper. Overlooking the clear blue waters of the Mediterranean Sea, the Odeon Tower Penthouse has an infinity pool complete with slides for those who fancy a salt-free swim. The luxury penthouse includes 38,000 square feet of space spread across five levels, with five kitchens spread throughout each floor. It's got a dance floor, a luxurious bathroom, and even a few staff bedrooms. A parking space for the property is thought to cost around $330,000. Rising majestically above the azure waters of the Mediterranean Sea and the captivating principality of Monaco, Tour Odeon takes luxurious living to dazzling new heights. The collective vision of developer Group Marzalco, architect Alexander Giraldi, and interior designer Alberto Pinto, the double tower of 60 exceptional service departments, duplexes, and a penthouse was due for completion in 2015 and set a new gold standard in residential lifestyle, not just for Monaco, but for the world. Tour Odeon offers a unique opportunity to live in the ultimate home. Number six, Les Palais Bullis, French. Les Palais Bullis, or the Bubble Palace, is a little different from your ordinary million dollar house. As its name suggests, this property is shaped like a huge peach colored bubble. A bird's eye view at Les Palais Bullis reveals a collection of circular buildings, and the circle theme continues inside. Take a walk through the Bubble Palace, and you'll spot cylindrical beds, swimming pools, and artwork. The luxury villa was designed by Hungarian architect Antti Lavog and features 10 suites decorated by different contemporary artists. As well as the obvious rooms, it's also home to a sprawling 500-seat outdoor theater with views overlooking the Mediterranean Sea. We like it for its architecture and its massive glass dome, its temporary and unique exhibitions, its various events throughout the year, and a temporary ice rink during the Christmas period. Palais Bullis, or Bubble Palace, is a large house in the Thiul sur Mer near Cannes, France, that was designed by the Hungarian architect Antti Lavog. It was built for French industrialist Pierre Bernard and later bought by the fashion designer Pierre Cardin as a holiday home. Number 5. Villa Les Cadres, France. This 18,000 square foot Villa Les Cadres is more of a luxury palace than it is a simple home. Set across 35 acres of land, this traditional luxury mansion is a fit for a king and was once owned by one. As well as endless bedrooms and communal spaces, this luxury property has an Olympic-sized swimming pool, a stunning ballroom, and even a stable with room for up to 30 horses. Outside, you'll find 15,000 plants and 20 greenhouses with tropical flowers from all over the world. It overlooks the Mediterranean Sea and has multiple balconies swathed with palm trees. Villa Les Cadres, located at the prime location on the coast of the St. Jean Cap Ferrat, is a 14-bedroom villa built in 1830. The property was bought in 1850 by Desire Polonaise, mayor of Villa Franche sur Mer, when it was opened as an olive tree farm. Italian designer Campari Group has sold the historic Villa Les Cadres on the French Riviera. Italy's Campari Group, a major player in the branded beverage industry, has agreed to sell its 188-year-old French mansion, Villa Les Cadres, for $220.6 million to an undisclosed buyer for private use. Number 4. The One, United States The One Mansion is considered not only to be the most expensive house in California, but also the most expensive house in the U.S. But it's also the one riddled with debt and legal issues. But despite its flaws, this is a beautiful property with gorgeous views in a breathtaking setting. 
The One is home to nine bedrooms and multiple kitchens, as well as all the other essentials like a nightclub, a bowling alley with four lanes, a salon, a home gym, a 50-seat theater, and a running track. It has not just a swimming pool, but also six other water features like a jacuzzi and a moat that surrounds the luxury house. The Los Angeles home is one of the largest ever built and is twice the size of the White House. It spans 105,000 square feet, and the property sprawls over 3.8 acres. Outdoor features include a moat of water on three sides of the home, five pools, a 10,000 square foot deck, and a 400 foot outdoor running track. Number 3. Villa Leopolda, France Villa Leopolda sits between two of the most prestigious parts of the world, Monaco and Nice. Sumptuous and stylish, it's a luxury property with a regal past and previously belonged to King Leopold II of Belgium. Since then, it's passed through the hands of many owners and has also been used as a film set for Alfred Hitchcock's La Main Al Coulette. When Edward Safra, its previous owner, passed away, he left the villa to his wife. Its huge swimming pool and excessive gardens reportedly require the daily work of more than 50 gardeners. Across the entire property, there are 80,000 square feet of space. Number 2. Antilia, India Antilia is owned by Mukesh Ambani, the richest person in India, and is named after a mythical island in the Atlantic. This 400,000 square foot building sits in the most prestigious postcode of India and reaches 27 floors, with each double height ceiling counting as two floors. But despite its huge height, it's designed to withstand huge earthquakes. This beautiful building was designed around traditional natural elements, but also has an entire six floors dedicated to parking. It contains a huge temple, several guest suites, a salon, an ice cream parlor, and a private movie theater for all to enjoy. It even has a snow room that spits out snowflakes if India's high temperatures get a little too much. Even though their grand home was ready in 2010 and the housewarming ceremony was held in November of the same year, the Mukesh Ambani family wife, Nita Ambani, and three children, Isha Ambani, now Isha Pramal, Akash Ambani, and Anant Ambani, moved to Antilia only in 2011. You might have already got a clue by now that the Ambanis didn't cut any corners when they constructed their house. Well, to no one's surprise, the Antilia house also has a large and gorgeous hanging garden. The garden is beautifully manicured and has a fleet of caretakers keeping it well kept. The garden houses a variety of flowering plants and trees. Sadly, the garden is not open for public visits, but if it were, it would have the city's preferred picnic spot. Number 1. Buckingham Palace, United Kingdom Buckingham Palace may not be up for sale anytime soon, but if it was, it would be worth around $6.7 billion. With 240 bedrooms as well as a swimming pool and doctor's surgery, it's a place called home by the British royal family and is also open to the public for guided tours. In total, this rich house, if you can call it a mere house, contains 775 rooms, 19 state rooms, 92 offices, and 78 bathrooms. It's also got a huge team of staff as well as beautiful gardens. Rumor has it, there are a few other secret rooms dotted throughout this huge luxury mansion. Though the palace is generally not open to the public, during summer, you can visit its state apartments for an admission charge and see the Queen's large garden and collection of artworks. You can, however, see the changing of the guard for free at 11.30 a.m. every morning during summer and every second morning during winter. Thank you guys for watching. If you want more videos like this, make sure to like the video and hit the subscribe button, and we will see you in the next video.